Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 24th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Let me tell you, we have a great show to help get you over the hump, including the accordion kings and queens performing live in studio. Plus, it's Wednesday, and that means it's time for Chad's Corner. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. And I want you all to know, do you want to know what living on the edge is? It's wearing white linen pants with a seven month old who is eating peaches for breakfast. So far, so good, except my shoe. The heel broke first thing this morning. I had to have Carlos super glue it. So it's been that kind of a morning for me. And let's pray that these pants stay white. We'll see how white they are by the end of the day. But that brings us to our first guest, believe it or not, because speaking of staying clean, it is time for grilling, outdoor sports, camping, and so much more. And this can mean fun, but also clothes covered in stains and smells. So here to share some laundry trip tips and tricks to help remove summertime stains it's, and odors. We have Wendy Saladaga. She is a consumer product testing and stain expert at Henkel who works with Persil Pro Clean Laundry Detergent. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks so much for having me. So Happy to be here. Stains, let me tell you, I'm dealing with just baby food and now we have summer barbecues. So how can someone like me tackle a common summer stain like barbecue sauce? Right, summer in my family means spending out time outdoors. You know, the barbecues, the baseball games, you know, summer stains and odors are constant in my house too. You know, the key to tackling tough stains is really to get to them quickly and using a premium detergent like Perso Pro Clean plus Oxy, you know, tackles stains and odors, cleans right the first wash so your clothes are fresh and clean all summer long. And I love a good s'more and a campfire, but you know what I hate is the odor that's left on your clothes and blankets. So how can we get rid of those? Right. I love sitting by a campfire as well. You know, whether I'm camping or I'm sitting in my backyard and that odor does get in my clothes and my blankets. You know, I recommend using a premium detergent with an amazing scent like a Persil Intense Fresh Disc. You know, it's got that stain fighting power of Persil with an amazing long lasting scent. If it's an exceptionally bad odor day, you know, you can let it sit in the, the bucket in your washing machine for like an hour before you let it finish. And those clothes will come out smelling perfectly clean and fresh. I love that. And it comes to, you know, being proactive. So how important is it to pre-treat these stains? Yeah, pre-treating can actually be very important. I mean, ideally we get to stains quickly, but you know, as you mentioned, you have a seven month old, can't always take care of your clothes first. You know, so pre-treating a stain becomes very important. You know, a, using a premium detergent like Persil Oxy is great as a pre-treater and a detergent. You know, simply pour it on the stain, you know, rub it in there, let it get working, you know, and let it sit for five or 10 minutes and then wash as usual. It's packed with pre-treating technologies that will get those clothes clean and fresh. And why is it so important to choose the right detergent? And are there certain benefits? Because I know there's so many to choose from. Right, choosing the right detergent is important. It's what our clothes have to keep us clean and fresh. You know, but whether you choose a liquid detergent or you like a unit dose detergent, it's really about your preference. You know, if you like the extra convenience, I recommend trying a Persil Oxy disc. You know, it's power packed in a pre-measured disc, tough on stains, and they're super easy to use. And lastly, where can we go for more information? Just visit PersilProClean.com. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning and helping us tackle stains. I'm sure I'm gonna have to use it on these white pants today. And now turning to health news. It's myosti myositis, I should say, Awareness Month. And joining me to bring more attention to this important topic is someone who has experienced it firsthand. Omni McClooney, and not only is she a physician assistant dermatologist, she is a double lung transplant recipient. Yeah. Thank you so much. When I read your story, I was like, I have to have you on the show. Thank you for joining <laughs> oh, me. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited that you yeah. are here. Exactly. <laughs> because I was reading and your book is amazing. Thank you. And you were saying that in a way, you know, you went to med school, all that, but you were reborn. 
Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Absolutely. So yeah, after having the double lung transplant, I mean, I was knocked down for about five years. Um, I was diagnosed with polymyositis with anti-synthetase syndrome. Uh -huh. So it's just inflammation of the proximal muscles, the muscles that help you move your limbs. And the anti-synthetase syndrome is a collection of symptoms. And one in particular was interstitial lung disease. And that's what led me into having an acute respiratory failure, which caused me to have a be in a coma for a month and a half. And pretty much fighting for my life basically on life support and so for five years after you know thank God coming out of the coma I was a prisoner to supplemental oxygen and so for five years I was down and out couldn't do anything so that's when I wrote my book mm -hmm. and then in January 1st of 2020 um, I happened to be at the Grand Canyon um, totally forgot about the altitude that's for a whole nother segment okay right. <laughs> but it ended up being life flighted to um, Phoenix Hospital and they were like you need a transfer <gasps> Um, because anything that happens with the lungs is irreversible. Right. And so got with my team at Methodist and we decided to put me on the list of June of 2020. And thank God I was transplanted September 15th of 2020. Oh my gosh. And, and in the middle of the pandemic. <laughs> in the middle of the pandemic. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. The, you are a blessing oh, to even just you. be sitting yes. here. And your book, tell us a little yes. bit about your book. So I was writing because I was so depressed and I was going through so much grief during the five years. I couldn't do absolutely anything. So writing is what actually got me up every morning. You know, I had purpose. And so basically it's about a young lady that's living her golden life, doing everything that she could have dreamed of doing until the universe just comes crashing down. And so the universe teaches our very hard lesson that you just can't burn the bridges that you cross because you never know when you'll cross those bridges again. So it's a book about tragedy, transformation, and triumph. I love this. And you actually, speaking of triumph, you have yeah. an award. Uh, yeah, I did. I want so, to show this. Yeah. Tell me about this quickly. So quickly, I just was nominated for this award is the Women of Distinction Honor Award uh, representing the state of Texas. And it's awarded to those that show leadership, dedication to their community, as well as to their field of practice. And it's a few months of vetting and they vetted like some physicians that I worked alongside with some preceptors and they all had positive feedback uh, evidently. So it's, it's very humbling actually to receive that because you never know the impact that you have on people when you meet them. So for the, all of them to have positive um, things to say about me and to nominate me for this award is very humbling. Humbling and grateful. And you also practice. Yes. So where can we sign up and get an appointment yes, with you too? So come see me at More Unique Dermatology um, off of West Belford and Kirby. So if you just want to come by and say hi, hear about my story, or come see any, just be seen for clinical purposes or even cosmetic, you can come see me there at More Unique Dermatology. Well, I am so thankful that you're yes, here. And thank, thank you for you, sharing Maggie. your story. I'd love to have you back and Absolutely. talk more. I could talk to you all oh, day. So, you. and definitely <laughs> check out her book as well. So thank yes. you so much and stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break, including, oh my goodness, we have a performance from the Accordion Kings and Queens. They're going to be performing at Miller Outdoor Theater. You don't want to miss that. And next up, you know him, Chad. It's time for Chad's Corner. We're talking Texans. We have hockey and LeBron James. Is he going to retire? I don't know. Let's see what Chad says. Stay tuned for that. Can't escape justice. She was gonna get me. What'd you do? I hid. <laughs> Judge Mattis. Next on CW 39 Houston. Special guest Bill O'Reilly on Cuomo. You'll love this, Cuomo. You will love this. TV's liveliest, most honest debate. I don't know that he's gonna lose. Voting started in you September. You want to Yeah. Tonight at 8, 7 Central. Yum, yum. Humble pie. Only on News Nation. If you're not 100% sure you're getting 100% of the Medicare benefits you deserve, Kelsey Care Advantage, Houston's fastest growing Medicare Advantage plan, is here to help with a free Medicare plan checkup. Call now to speak with one of our Houston-based Medicare specialists. We'll help determine your specific needs and ensure you are receiving all the Medicare benefits you qualify for, like a $500 flex card with extra money for glasses, contacts, or hearing aids, unlimited transportation to and from medical appointments, and over-the-counter allowances. Make sure you have all the coverage and benefits you really need with Texas Best Medicare Advantage Plan. It's quick, easy, and there's no obligation. Best of all, if you switch to Kelsey Care Advantage, our five-star rating by Medicare means you can enroll year-round. So don't wait. Call for your free Medicare plan checkup today. 713-442-8511. That's 713-442-8511. 
Negligent drivers cause accidents that hurt innocent people every day. Don't pay the price for medical bills and property damage that was caused by another's irresponsible behavior. Mocarum Law is one of the nation's premier personal injury law firms. With over 25 years of experience battling insurance companies to get innocent accident victims the compensation they deserve. Call 24-7 at 713-900-2222. Call for your free consultation. You pay nothing unless they win. Call 713-900-2222. 713-900-2222. Our client was rear-ended by another driver. As a result, she required a spinal cord stimulator for her pain. We did what we do best. We pushed. We got our client $1.4 million. Seriously injured? We push. You win. Call 833-PUSH-WIN-NOW. Over 22 veterans kill themselves every day, losing a personal battle to invisible wounds. Skelter Crew Adventures here at Kima is helping our brothers and sisters heal at sea. We're sailing around the globe to bring awareness for veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. We sure could use your support this Memorial Day. Please scan the QR code on your screen right now or go to skeletalcrewadventures.org to donate and learn more about our organization. All right, before we get to Jad's Corner, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And it's Wednesday, my friends, our favorite day of the week because it is time for Chad's Corner. No one puts Chad in a corner except for me. Good to see you. You look so handsome. Oh, thank you very much. And we have a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. All right, Texans. Texans opened up OTAs this week. You were there. I was there doing some filming and listening to what they had to say. And uh, looks like we might have a quarterback battle on our hands, folks. So, yeah, uh, let's listen. Even I though think they we have that. Yeah, even though they drafted C.J. Stroud, looks like he's going to battle with Davis Mills for the uh, top quarterback spot. They both spoke. Yeah, let's listen to what they had to say. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I still I'm completing, competing for that starting job. I mean, since I've been drafted in the NFL, I've been in a competition. Um, I don't think anything is going to change. But, I mean, it's been, been great getting to know C.J. so far. Far. He's an extremely hard worker, um, and it'll be good to see how we go out there and compete every day and make each other better. It's, for me, um, I think I'm a natural-born competitor, so that's what I'm here to do. But at the same time, being a great teammate is more important. So that's what I've been on, just uh, trying to embrace the relentless uh, swarm that uh, uh, Coach, Coach Ryan wants us to be on. Um, and that's what I plan to do, just be a great teammate, be a great leader, be vocal, be confident. I feel like I've, I've done a decent job so far, but i got to keep growing every day. Uh, it's not going to be overnight. Um, I'm going to have growing pains and things like that. But uh, I think they're putting uh, – um, uh, things around me, Davis, Case, and the quarterbacks to be successful um, and lead this team to win. So I'm excited to be in that room uh, to push each other, but at the same time help each other, which is more important. Hey, at least we know we're going to have a quarterback. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that both of them sound confident. You know, Davis wants, doesn't want to give up his job. And you know, CJ, he's going to come in with some confidence. You know, he's the number two pick, overall pick in the draft. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I mean, D'Amico's going to let him compete. He's not going to play favorites. He's going to say, let's see what happens with both of them. So it'll be interesting to see what happens as, uh, when, as the practices and when training camp opens later on. Okay, quickly, hockey, is it coming here? Hockey may be coming here. Still got a lot of things to work out with Arizona. They're going to try to keep the Coyotes in Arizona. But I would say let's keep an eye and see what happens because if hockey comes here, it's going to come through Tillman Fertitta, the owner of the Rockets. All right. He's going to have to make a decision. NHL is going to sit down and come up with a number. That's as basically as it, what it's going to go come down to, how much the NHL wants the, the number to be and how much Tillman's going to be willing to pay. And lastly, LeBron, is he retiring? Uh, and I, I love the shirtless. I have. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, t uh, yeah. T LeBron's just disappointed. I mean, his team lost in the Western Conference Finals to the Denver Nuggets. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, I think he's just disappointed that he's lost. But it, I think he really wants to play with his son, Bronny. But Bronny's got to play at, at least one year at USC. So I think he's coming back next year. I think he's going to try. He doesn't want to go out like that. I think he's going to come back for one more, at least one more year, maybe two. And have any father son have they ever played together? Well, I mean, you got to think back to the '90s when Ken Griffin. He's senior and junior played oh. for, a, for a couple of years in the, the early 90s. That's the right. only last father-son I did. And speaking of hockey, remember in the 70s when Gordie Howe yeah. played with his two sons for the Houston Arrows back in the World Hockey Association. All right. Well, bringing it right back to hockey. Bringing it back to hockey. I knew you wanted to talk about hockey. By God, we talked about that hockey. I did. Yes, I it's did. It's a big thing. I grew up with Avalanche. All right, Chad, always a pleasure. I love you so much. You know what would be nice? Hockey, that ice cold temperatures. Yeah, you know, you see what I'm working with here, but ice would just melt right now. Oh, I'm not. Mm, mm, no, mm -mm, no. Nope. You don't like ice? Nope. Mm -mm. 
What? I don't like it when it's super, super cold. Oh, like yeah. when you're sitting in an ice rink watching a hockey game. Oh, not your jam? Yeah, not my jam. But yes, you are right. It is very warm. Ice cream's going to melt. I do enjoy <laughs> ice cream. Yes, ma'am, I do. Well, I, that's good. I have to eat it quickly before it melts. I know. I have to tell you, uh, my husband's out of town, so I've been in bed like eating ice cream and banana cream pie. Oh, you lucky girl. <laughs> Don't you tempt me with a good time. It's been glorious. Mom's gone wild. <laughs> Sorry, Blaine. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so yes, let's go back to talking about the warm because that's going to be one of our weather headlines for today. The other one, of course, is that we're going to continue to see some unhealthy air because of our ozone weather action day. And then we will possibly see some isolated storms here coming in through the afternoon. I'll take you through future cast here in just a second. But first, let's start off with satellite and radar. There was some action to the northwest of us that just disintegrated as the morning hours went on. But this is going to continue to move into our area, so it may spark up some showers, thunderstorms, isolated to possibly scattered. So today is just one of those days you definitely want to have our radar in the palm of your hand and download the CW39 app so you can watch that. So here's a look at our future cast model. You'll notice by noon, not a lot of activity, but as the day starts to warm up and we have that instability coming in from the northwest, we possibly could see an isolated thunderstorm. It it could turn severe as well. As we move into the evening hours, though, that does start to clear up, but we are going to repeat this pattern again for tomorrow. Here's a look at our current temperatures across the area. We're looking at mid to upper 70s, but by this afternoon, it's going to be heating up close to 90 in Houston, 88 in Condor, 89 in Angleton. Plus, let's go ahead and factor in that heat index. Check this out, Maggie. By this afternoon, it's going to feel like we are in the low 90s. I wow. am not loving that at all because, yes, you're right. My ice cream's going to melt. But if you're in bed, snuggled in watching Netflix, one of our shows. <laughs> <we love. laughs> now you can watch it instead of sneaking off and folding laundry. <laughs> well, I already finished that, girl, so you need to give me another recommendation. All right, I will. I'll <laughs> all right, thank you for that, Eno. You know. All right, I'm so excited because speaking of entertainment, Texas Folk Life returns to Miller Outdoor Theater during its 100th anniversary season with the 34th annual Accordion Kings and Queens. And I have some special guests, so introduce yourselves. I'm Linda Pache from Texas Folk Life. And I'm Corey McCauley of Evangeline Aces. Okay, and I love this. Oh. The fact that we have an accordion here, I am so excited. <laughs> You're going to be playing, but tell us a little bit about this. So it's a family friendly event at Miller Outdoor Theater. We invite everybody to come out uh, with us on June 3rd, 7 to 10, and we will be representing all kinds of genres of accordion music. And what is it about accordion music that brings people together? It's just fantastic. It's a, it's, it's a, a lovely, fun music. It's fun to play, it's fun to dance to, and it's just excellent to listen to. Yes, I was telling you, my seven month old, when she hears accordion music, yeah. I kid you not, her little leg starts going, her little chubby thighs, and I absolutely love it. So how did you guys get involved with this? Well, I was asked uh, by Charlie Lockwood, and uh, he, I've been a fan of the festival for 20 years since we moved to, to Houston, uh -huh. and uh, attend every year, and it's, I think it's just a great thing to promote uh, accordion music, but then uh, also accordion musicianship amongst uh, uh, the younger generation. I know. Are there many young musicians playing the accordion? There are. There are, are. There? There, there are many, many more than when I started, you know, 35 years ago. And what made you decide to pick it up? I had a, a, a neighbor who played, and I kind of felt like no one was taking up the uh, the accordion, you know, after him, and. Uh, so I thought it was kind of a responsibility to the culture to you know, keep it going. Little did I know that you know, a lot of people were having the same idea that I was. Yeah. Right, and to be performing Miller Outdoor Theater, it's so iconic. Yeah. What does that feel like to have this opportunity? It's, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's a 34th <coughs> year running, so it's a long-standing concert. And Texas Folklife is an organization that preserves and presents you know, the local traditions of Texas. Right. So it's an important uh, piece of history for us. And why is it important for you to be involved? Um, I, as a cultural anthropologist, uh, really, really uh, feel like we need to preserve and really uh, think through what identity we have as a, a, the Lone Star State. And, right. yeah. 
And I love that because here people think, you know, Texas, oil and gas, but there's so much more to it. Yeah. And I love that. What an interesting profession you have. How can people get involved? Please uh, help support the organization at texasfolklife.org. You can become a member and uh, we will uh, tell you when we have amazing projects and programs like this. We'd love to see everybody out. And I can't let you leave without playing. So after the break, will you play for us? Sure. Okay. Mm. Mom, Dad, get May ready. They're watching my baby girl. So bring her up because I know she's going to start dancing. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. We have that performance after the break. Right now at the Rooms to Go mattress sale, buy this king, queen, full, or twin size Kingsdown mattress and get the second mattress, same size or smaller, free. That's this Kingsdown mattress. Buy one, get one free. Now at Rooms to Go. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. We all have some place to go to work, to school, to see our loved ones, or just to get away. No matter how we choose to get there, the ride has its dangers. And when serious injuries happen to good people, they turn to Terry Bryant to make things right. Car crash? You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. 713-973-8888. is happening at the Rooms to Go Kids Memorial Day Sale. Big on savings. Big on great looking kids bedrooms. Plus get 55 month interest refinancing. Check out these exclusive Disney Princess and Disney Frozen collections. Need bunks or lofts? We've got them in style after style. Build a bunk or choose bookcase beds in your go-to colors. Priced right, right now at the Rooms to Go Kids Memorial Day Sale. Hello from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. To put into perspective how big this place is, there are four full-length golf holes inside the track. And according to IMS, you could fit Churchill Downs, Yankee Stadium, the Rose Bowl, the Roman Coliseum, and Vatican City all inside with some room to spare. But still, at 220 miles per hour, an Indy car will make a lap around here in under 40 seconds. Countdown to Indy, brought to you by Constellation. Get more than electricity with Constellation. Anyway, 104.1 KRBE, home of the Rulin Riot Show, morning 6 to 10. Okay, all right. it's about damn time. This is where Houston's hit music lives. Alexa, play KRBE. Houston's number one hit music station, 104.1 KRBE. Good morning with Vocalax. Good, good, good morning. Hey. Yeah. Try Dolcolax Chewy Fruit Bites for fast and gentle constipation relief in as little as 30 minutes. Making your good morning even better with Dolcolax. It's the Rose to Go Memorial Day Sale. Right now, choose between these two beautiful bedroom sets with your choice of king or queen bed with dresser and mirror. Just $12.95 or $24 a month. Right now, during the Rooms to Go Memorial Day Sale. Once again, we are getting ready for the 34th annual Accordion Kings and Queens. Tell everybody once again where we can go and watch y'all. Miller Outdoor Theater, June 3rd, 7 to 10 p.m. The All whole right. family's it welcome. Yes, yes, I'm sorry to interrupt. And I'm just so excited because, Corey, you're going to perform for us. Give us a little sneak peek. Tell us a little bit about this song. This is a, a tune I composed and uh, named it after the, the area where I grew up. It's called Swallow Two Step. I know that. All right, take it away. Thank you. 